a few weeks ago I fried some haddock outside uh, I did it outside because the wife wouldn't have the smell of dripping in the house and I used a gas ring a smaller gas ring than that one that one there and I simply couldn't get enough heat up it wouldn't do the job so I was at a steam rally last weekend and I bought this one it's really old there's bits of it missing be designed to be run on town gas, coal gas. I'm going to pull the jet out and show you what I've done to modify it to try and make it run on propane. It's got an air hole there and it's got a little, a little valve to shut the air off. So all I did, I took the jet out and I drilled that and tapped it 6mm so I can put in MIG jets. I've tried a 0.6 or 0.8, that's a 1mm MIG jet and I think it'll burn quite well with that. The, the yellowy flame is a sign of incomplete combustion, but running it outside it shouldn't matter. There's nothing to matter with that, that's putting it, see how that works when you haven't got enough air. Come on. I have got a job here to do. I've got to solder these two pieces of bronze together. I'll solder them together like that, soft solder, and then these go into a lathe and they're machined into a mechanical seal. So all I've got to do is solder these together. I'll use this to preheat them. That one there, then we'll lift that one up on top of there. And that should be quite nice. It's gonna this is gonna make a big difference. To warm it up, save using quite as much oxygen on the, the propane torch. I'll get my flux ready and we'll have it soldered. That's the flux I'm going to use, Baker's number three, proper soldering flux, and I'm going to use tin and solder, which is quite a bit stronger than ordinary solder, that's got a high tin content. So I'll let this put some general heat in and I have got an oxypropane brazen torch just to get the, the local heat where I need it. I'm going to play around with different size jets so I can get shot of that horrible yellow flame and just have a nice blue flame. Things have got to be clean, the shoulder really clean. I leave that flame on, but I turn it right down. Now you have to get a coat of soil down each part, pour tin in it. It's a tin there with soil, that's all you need.
clean it up as best I can. Get warm. Little guy who wants to me, John. Never put gloves on with hot things. Use them like a bit of rag. Right. Just make sure that I'm head. Got all the way through. So the soil that is melting from the heat of the job, which means it's definitely hot enough. Try and move it around a little bit if we need to. Great, happy with that. Very happy. And when you come to take us apart, the soil that is really thin, like microns of an inch, has nothing in it. They've milled them with a rough finish on, so the soil that keys. Happy with that. Take quite a while to cool down, quite a big chunk of bronze. Once again, time to see you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Also, a massive thanks once again for all the well wishes, kind words, and support that have come in over the last two or three months. Um, they really have helped me get over my sort of problems. I'm not over them yet, but I'm very, very nearly back to the way I was. You've nearly got old John back. Thank goodness. Anyway, thanks for watching.